Welcome to our video on our locking wall gun racks from LockingGunRacks.com. They include two different sizes for most all types of rifles and shotguns, having standard size stocks. The three gun vertical locking gun rack and the nine gun locking wall gun rack. We also offer a locking pistol rack that will hold up to three revolvers and semi-automatic handguns of various sizes. Since all of our gun racks have similar construction, this video will show the manufacturing process of the 9-gun rifle and shotgun rack and a mounting demonstration of all gun racks. All parts are precision cut from metal having a thickness of 1 8 to 5 8 inches. The gun rack's base frame is placed in a mold where all parts are welded in their exact place to achieve each gun's highest security when locked inside the rack. The gun rack is then removed from the mold, cleaned, and then dipped coated in plastisol that provides a glossy, durable coating to protect each gun's finish. Both rifle shotgun racks can be mounted several ways. The 9-gun rifle and shotgun rack, with barrel rest attached, mounts approximately 12 inches above the floor to two wall framing studs on 14 to 24 inch centers using two 3 8 by 2 1⁄2 inch hex head screws, or they can also be mounted to a solid wall. The three gun rack mounts to a single wall framing stud or to a solid wall. Both racks can also be mounted above a countertop or a strong shelf for gun store display and law enforcement use. And if several gun racks are needed, they can be mounted side by side approximately two inches apart. Both rifle racks can also be mounted inside gun cabinets to secure all firearms while on display. And for additional protection from unauthorized removal of all of our gun racks, small round screw head guards are tapped over each hex head screw. All firearms having standard size gun stocks are placed in their narrow individual stalls. Both racks will lock up your rifles with or without scopes and or shotguns in or out of gun socks or gun sleeves to protect them from collecting dust. The curved end of the metal locking bar is then placed through one of the openings located on the side of the base frame passing along the front of each gun's narrowest section of the hand grip area and through the opening located at the other end of the frame. A padlock is then placed through the hole located at the end of the locking bar. Because each individual stall is smaller than the butt end of each gun's stock, the guns cannot be removed from pulling upward or downward once they are locked inside the gun rack. To remove the guns, simply unlock the padlock and slide the locking bar out about one and a half inches, then swing the bar outward to retrieve the guns. The same procedure applies to the three gun rack for placing and retrieving of firearms. The pistol rack is mounted to a single wall stud using the same procedure as the rifle and shotgun racks with screw head guards in place. Each revolver or semi-automatic handgun is placed in the rack with a steel peg passing through the trigger guard. They are then secured by a wide metal locking bar that passes through each hole located at the end of the rack's base frame. A padlock is then placed through the hole located in the top end of the locking bar. To remove the pistols, simply unlock the padlock. The locking bar will drop downward and stop at the bottom end of the rack allowing quick access to all handguns.